<sighs> it's a crazy time. Hold on. Right now we are dealing with literally a global pandemic that is what has been classified. It's COVID-19, AKA the coronavirus. Uh, it's a very unique virus. The problem is, is that it spreads uh, during the incubation period, which means you can have it, you can not be showing symptoms, so you may not know you have it, and you can be passing it around, um, spreading it around. And that, that's a huge problem because if you know you're sick and you know you're contagious while you're sick, then you do something about it. But if you don't know you're sick and you're just interacting like normal, I got an itch right here, then um, Sam's awake. Uh, then you don't, you don't know. I gotta, I'm going to have to go get him in a second. Ashley's out there, so he, she's not, he's not alone. That's the problem with this, and it's spreading very quickly. China, it spread very quickly. It started in China. Um, Italy, the medical system is like either collapsing or has collapsed um, because they had more people that needed urgent medical life-saving care than they had the capability of um, being able to provide. It's very dark in here. What are you doing? Playing. Huh? Playing video games. Is that how you're coping with the COVID-19? Sure. We're lucky that we've got this thing right here and just like that was like what we did this Christmas is we bought a whole bunch of toys and stuff for down here it's a total disaster but it usually stays a disaster I'd be lying if it didn't <clears throat> also feel super fortunate that we uh, bought some exercise equipment because um, we're using it I'll tell you right now and uh, we're having the kids use it too because you know, they gotta, they gotta get the fitness on. But uh, yeah, we got plenty of space to hang out inside the house if we need to. Um, so if we like are forced on lockdown or something, we've got enough room. Sam, how you dealing with COVID-19? How you coping? Life is basically, I would say the H word, but it's not. It's not that bad yet. Not yet. Yeah. Let's go in for the COVID zombies. <laughs> it can happen. So I'm in the process of um, rearranging my office. Hey. hey. So I had a bed right there. That's kind of, so on Saturdays. Uh, on Sundays, I, Monday mornings, I'd get up and go to the temple super duper early because that's where I'd, I would work at the temple. I had a volunteer shift, just our local temple, um, for about six hours every Monday morning. And so I would sleep down here. We've talked about this before. I'd sleep down here Sunday night because I'd have to go to bed at like, I usually start going to bed around eight, eight or nine. Well, I'll try to be asleep by nine. And uh, then my wife does the same thing, same kind of super early morning shift on Thursday morning. So she'd come down here Wednesday nights and go to bed earlier. Was it Friday? No, it was Thursday. <clears throat> and um, so we had moved to bed in here, um, actually when my mother-in-law was in town uh, and kind of decided that we liked it like that. So I rearranged my, office and desk and stuff like that. I'm not working for, or wasn't working from home too much since I was going to the office with that Park City company we bought. But we kind of liked that arrangement, having a bed in here because it just, it really gave us kind of like a comfortable space to like live, to like sleep or whatever, a couple of nights out of the week. Um, but given our current circumstances and the fact that I'm pretty sure that I feel pretty confident that we're going to be on a lockdown situation in the next probably the next week, to be honest. I don't, things are gonna get much worse before they get better. What? I just walked in my room, Sam's playing with her Monopoly, and I look at him and he goes, <gasps> and I'm like, Daddy! So, but he ruined our Monopoly. You're been recording us. Ow. How are you coping, Lily? Lily's depressed because I can't see my boyfriend. She can't see her, I, I her special friend. She's not allowed to have a boyfriend. 
I don't have to wear makeup though when I get to wear stuff like this. No, silver linings. Anyway, the reason why I was telling you any of that stuff is that, um, where are you gonna paint at? You know my paint space. So there's a bed up there now. Be careful not to get paint on it. I'm rearranging my office because mom, Ashley and I, my wife and I want to turn this into a date hybrid space. Uh, normally when we get out of this, I'm not going to be working from home as much, but I'm definitely going to be working from home for the next couple of weeks. What happened, Sam? Your head. What? Can you see? Your head. Look. What is happening? I'm filming. How are you feeling? Ooh, you guys gonna paint? Yeah. Get your finger like this. Ooh. Ooh. Do it. He's like fly boy. Ooh, look at this. What the heck? Did you see me in that cheese? Seriously, don't do that. Come on. S. No, it's chocolate S. Mm. All right. I've got straps holding the two uh, swing arms like that. Got strap, a strap holding the couch. Uh, side note, I don't recommend this. This is certainly not ideal, but um, I'm basically going on neighborhood streets. So I think it's gonna be fine. Like I'm not going on any street with a speed limit, it's more than 35. Uh, I don't really have this, I just figured I'd tell you, I don't really have this uh, tension down too much. Uh, this strap right here because I don't want to put too much pressure on that pin down there. It's not really you know, meant to handle the, uh, the weight, I'm sure. But anyway, let's, uh, let's go. Oh, look, Sandra's pocket. Oh, you love pockets. today because I needed to I needed to get some stuff. I wanted to get my screen. I wanted to get a couple of other things that um, I just kind of use on a more regular basis. I'll probably bring some charger stuff home and all this stuff. Look at this thing. So this thing is pretty nifty. I got this because I wanted to be able to put this on top and plug in two microphones in here and then I can have an output that goes from here into my camera and then that way, and I can actually merge these two channels, left and right, into one stereo output. And that way I can use two wireless mics, um, which is what I was planning on doing for future um, rig walk around videos. That way the audio is good and I can just follow the camera and make it easy. Kind of eerie so usually the ski resorts don't close for i don't know another few weeks um last weekend they announced at park city base and i believe deer valley pretty much all the park city ski resorts they were going to close for this week uh, and then like by tuesday or so they said they're not going to open it all for the rest of the season uh, right now it's kind of kind of kind of tragic um because it's coming down pretty good right now. I just was walking around out there. You can feel the powder. Um, it's it's probably a pretty good ski day. Interestingly enough, a lot of people, I mean, there's a lot of people here and they're hiking up and they're skiing down. I don't know if that's okay or legal or what. Like I, I don't know anything about that. All I know is that there's nobody here to enforce people doing that or not doing that. <laughs> Today. 
Look, I feel very fortunate to have what I have, but we've been having to make some really, really tough decisions, not only with our family, but with our business. We've had to furlough all but three employees, and that's really, really challenging because it's like, it's like the most inconvenient time, right? But we have to have something to come back to. Um, normally in April, you know, we have significant, a significant amount of revenue and we're going to have pretty much nothing. And that's going to, that's going to, we're going to take a big hit from that. Um, we're not really sure what May is going to look like. March, we generated about half the amount of revenue that we normally would have. It's, by the time this is all said and done, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. Today is Tuesday, April 7th, and it has been this COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic has been getting progressively worse the last, um, really exponentially worse the last couple of weeks. I believe that it's going to get even worse now before it gets better. I'm really hoping that um, we'll begin seeing some flattening of the curve in the next week or two. The state of Florida's basically on lockdown until April 30th, really the entire nation. I think there's only a handful of states that don't have like a mandated stay at home or a stay at home mandate or order. Um, I believe Utah does, Florida does. We're just staying home. We're doing what we can to try to to do, to prevent spreading. I mean, I don't believe that we're infected, but their studies have shown that a, lar a large number of people are asymptomatic. And if you have it and you're asymptomatic, you can be spreading it and not even know. So we're just doing our part and staying home. It's been really tough the last couple of weeks because, I mean, for the last, like, several years, really. I've, I, for the most part, worked from home. I'd go into the office every now and then, but not on a regular basis. And we've home homeschooled our kids as well. So it, like being at home and staying home for longer periods of time is not super foreign to us. But I was talking to somebody earlier about this and it's one thing to like stay at home and like work from home because you want to, but it's something else to be doing that and like like doing it because you know you have to, right? And of course, with all of the other stress that's going on, I mean, it's just like there's this huge burden on my shoulders because of the unknown. Like there's just so much uncertainty. You know, I I, I, um, I was freaking out last week. I mean, actually, I, I, was, I had been like freaking out for like weeks. And I finally just like sat down and, and I had to like, I had to like get a hold of myself. You know what I mean? And so I, I, I did an exercise where I, I, I sat down and I just opened up Evernote and I wrote. And I just wrote. And I just kind of dumped. And I really thought about and analyzed, like, what's the worst that could possibly happen, right? And I kind of came up with this order, right? The worst thing would be somebody would get sick and died. Um, and we can mitigate for that, right? We don't have 100% control, but we kind of do, right? We can stay home and do our part. The second thing would be that we would completely lose our business and have to start from scratch. And and I kind of, I, I, I wrote out what that would mean for us and what I would need to do in order to move forward, right? I'm an entrepreneur. I would start again. Um, the third thing would be that we would lose a lot of our business or most of our business or whatever, and, um, and would again, again, have to kind of restart and rebuild, but maybe not from ground from the start with all of these, it was, it was a really, it was sort of like a, like a therapeutic exercise for me to, to really look and write out what those things would mean to me. And I felt so much better when I did that. Because it, it helped me to realize that I really could still I could make I can make this work. It's it's probably not as bad as it seems, and certainly um, I, I can I can work through it. I can I can I can make up for whatever 
shortcomings we see through hard work. Does that make sense? So one of the things we really had to work out, uh, my wife and I, was we needed to come up with a way that we could spend time together. Um, we love our kids and children. If you're watching this, we love you. But sometimes we need a break. And it's really important in relationships that you take time out and spend time with one another. So like I was saying earlier, we, we wanted to put together my office so that it could be and it's like the way it's located, the, the location of it, it's, it's down and kind of like really out of the way. And so it's, it's, we really wanted to set it up to where we could use this as a private space to just hang out. I'm actually super excited about this because, you know, this is like just an old couch. Actually, we've had this couch for, oh gosh, maybe almost 10 years. Pick this up, 55 inch Roku TV at Walmart. It was $400. They slashed it down to 268. I was so excited about that. Um, probably leave my office like this forever, but I think it's good for right now. Oh, cool. Check this out. I uh, am actually super excited about this because I reorganized this closet uh, and it really needed to be organized. It was kind of a total disaster. Not unlike this closet is right now. I really got to I gotta go through here and address this, but that's another day. This closet, so I've got, actually those lenses are old lenses. I'm gonna sell them. Traxxas cars, I don't drive them ever. A little bit of storage, old boxes. I just needed to put it somewhere. I'm not committed to hanging those pictures yet because I really wanted to take those to my Park City office and hang them there. So I don't wanna hang them here. I'm not giving up hope yet. I think everything's gonna turn around in a few weeks, but it's going to be a little bit of a bumpy road to get there, but we're going to, we're going to get there. So yes, times are uncertain. Yes, it's scary right now. Yes, people are dying. People are suffering. People are losing their jobs. Life is hard. In fact, life is probably harder for us now than it ever has been and may, perhaps ever will be. I feel enormously grateful for everything I have and for my family. And I'm praying constantly that not only will we recover from this soon and quickly as a nation, as a planet, as a human people, as people, we will learn from this and be able to grow and become better. There's a principle that our church teaches, and my wife is saying this all the time because I'm the one that's always wringing my hands. and She's always the <laughs> little bit more steady one in the relationship. The opposite of fear is faith. Or maybe it's the other way around. I don't think it matters. The point is this. Yes, it's scary, but if we have faith, if you have faith, we can definitely get through this. Stay strong, guys. Stay positive and stay home. Once again, my name is Jason Kirchie. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope, you, I hope you're hanging in there. This is a tough time for all of us. We've actually made some really big decisions. I, I'm not at liberty to talk about them yet, but they're gonna be like pretty life-changing. Um, and uh, I'm sure that you're, you're in the same position. I really, really wish the best to you guys. I'm actually getting caught up on content. I should be caught up in the next week or two. So look forward to more content coming out with the new, with the new Ram. And um, yeah, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that like button and we'll see you guys in the next video.